my name is Brianna and this is my 21 week pregnancy update. Welcome to my channel if you are a new subscriber or tuning in. This is my second pregnancy. Little Two is what I'm still calling her. It's a girl and I still haven't figured out a name and I actually have so much mom guilt over it. And I think with the holidays, because we saw both my family and my husband Adam's families and everybody was asking, what's her name, what's her name? And I even went to a gender reveal party for my husband Adam's cousin who's due like two weeks after me. She's also having a girl, so I cannot wait to have these little girls grow up and play together, but she knew a name instantly. And <laughs> it's leading me to have such mom guilt that I have not finalize the name for baby girl yet. So I know it's like not that big of a deal and that a lot of people even will wait until they have the baby to see and say, I think this is the name that fits him or her, but I'm having a ton of anxiety and just guilt over that. Cause with Landon, I also knew instantly like what he, he, he was going to be named, both his first and middle name. Anyways, I'm gonna dive into the regular set of questions I go through every single week to sort of compare this pregnancy to my first one with my son. And I'll start off with how far along. So I'm 21 weeks and one day. And what's really crazy is now seeing on like the pregnancy apps when it tells you how much farther you have to go, seeing that number get really small. Today it was 18 weeks and six days and that just doesn't seem like that much long of time. Um, <laughs> so needless to say, nesting in full force over here to make sure we're ready for this little girl. And I don't know if you can tell, I'm sitting in her new rocker. So we're getting closer to completing some of the finishing touches on her nursery. I ordered some really cool things off of Etsy this weekend that I cannot wait to show you guys when I do a nursery tour. I also picked up a really cute bulletin board when I was at the store to like store like the clip-on bows. And that was what one of the items they ordered on Etsy was, was it's actually like a headband holder, kind of like canister on a candlestick. I don't know if that makes sense, but you'll see it in the nursery tour. Size of baby girl, she's the size of a banana this week, which is long. It says like anywhere from seven to 11 inches and I think 11 ounces. So she's definitely getting pretty large in there and you'll see in the belly shot, I think I've definitely gotten bigger, um, <laughs> which leads me to weight gain. I was 136 pounds this morning when I stepped on the scale. I started at 122, so that means I've gained 14 pounds and I will definitely say I've eaten my fair share of Christmas Eve, Christmas dinner. We were both off of work, my husband and I, this last week, so we did some eating out or just made a lot of snacks while we were watching TV shows at night. And for New Year's Eve, I had a ridiculous amount of food. Like we decided we were doing cheese and chocolate fondue and <laughs> it did not look like it was just for two people. If you watch my Snapchat, you probably saw how crazy it was for just the two of us, but I totally made it okay because technically it's three, right? Who's in my belly? <laughs> Maternity clothes, yes, I've definitely been wearing them. And you'll even see in the belly shot, this is like a new maternity sweater I just got and definitely wearing maternity pants. It's funny though, I can still button my regular jeans cause my stomach is just sitting higher, but it's just not comfortable. So I'm not wearing anything that's not comfortable to me at this point. And I'm really excited. I will be doing some maternity clothing hauls coming up for you guys. I got sent some really amazing pregnancy outfits that I just can't wait to share with you. So make sure you stay tuned for that. If you haven't hit that bell, make sure you hit that so you see every time I upload a new video. Stretch marks, no stretch marks. Sleeping, I'm still really comfortable. I actually haven't gotten my snoogle pillow out yet, but I'm sure it's going to be busted out in the near future. If you're a new mama, check out the snoogle pillow. It definitely did help me so much in my last pregnancy when I was getting a lot larger. And my husband is not one who like likes to cuddle at night. And I feel like that's what it helps. Like if you have a really cuddly husband, you can probably prop yourself up against them. 
but this just helped me kind of like prop myself different ways that I needed to. I am though propping myself up just with pillows behind me so that I'm not ever laying on my back because my heartburn is still so bad and I'll wake up in the middle of the night feeling like I have to throw up if I'm laying flat on my back. So definitely just propping myself up with some regular pillows. Best moment this week. I like there's been so much because of the holidays that has just been awesome but I feel like the quality time I've gotten to spend with both Landon and my husband because we weren't working and we got to catch up on some TV shows we've been wanting to see and just watch the movies and have a lot of family time and also like just time to go leisurely shop. Landon's my little shopping buddy and it's just been fun to go around with him and get some stuff for like her nursery and for our new house and we're just doing some organization projects around our house which the nesting in me again it's like I'm crazy nesting right now but it's been so nice to have the time to do it. Missing anything I did say to Adam I was in the grocery store shopping for all of the food for New Year's Eve and I saw all these it looked like maybe college age kids like buying champagne and buying beer and different things and I was like Ugh. remember the times when like that's what our New Year's Eve was all about and it's so much to me I actually like it better having kids and a family but it did just kind of make me reminisce and be like, oh, there used to be such just different times in our life. Movement. She is moving like crazy. I know they told me I have an anterior placenta, or in other words, like my placenta is right behind my belly button, but I feel her so much. I'm feeling her during the day, I'm feeling her at night, and it's just the coolest feeling. I think that's what I miss the most after having Landon was when he wasn't with me, when I would be at work or, you know, somebody else would have him. It's that feeling of like knowing your baby's in there and okay, that I just love feeling her kick and move. So you can move as much as you want to, little one, or little two. <laughs> Food cravings, cheese, salts, still pomegranates. I was really disappointed they ran out of pomegranate at the grocery store. The guy was like, I'm really sorry, we just ran out. I'm like, when will you get more in? I wanted pizza. I feel like a lot of just like cheesy, carby, salty, and then like some fruits. Like I wanted pomegranate and I wanted strawberries and like berries. That has just sounded really good. Anything making you queasy or sick? Not really this week. No queasiness. Labor signs, no labor signs yet. Thank the Lord. Symptoms. So this is one of the first weeks where I've, and maybe, <laughs> This could all just be because of the fact that I've gotten to sleep a little bit more. Even though I've still been like doing a lot of work around the house, it's just not the same as when I'm working and doing stuff for the house after work. And I took a break from YouTube, so I didn't film at all for like the last five days. So really I like took off from like Christmas through New Year's Eve. And it was just really, really nice. I actually a lot of days wanted to try to figure something out and pick up the camera, but sort of realized like, no, my priority these days when I'm off is gonna be my family first and then just getting my house together. So sorry, I did take a little bit of a vacation hiatus from you guys, um, but I have a ton of ideas for 2017 videos I wanna do, but would love, like in the comments, let me know what you wanna see because I'm still kind of like figuring out and planning what sort of videos I'm gonna do. So if you have an idea, let me know. Um, but what was the question? Symptoms. <laughs> Pregnancy brain. How about that? Like I do just feel like I've been forgetting or like in the middle of things and that's very not like me. Like I'm usually extremely focused and I'm like also just extremely like need everything organized and in its place and it kind of drives me a little bit bonkers when I'm like wait I was thinking of something and then I lose track of it. So you saw it happen right there folks. Other symptoms. <laughs> I do feel like all of the time off that I had and just getting to spend quality time with my family has like kind of, I just feel like my skin looks better. I feel like my hair, it's not that great today, but I like just happen to notice like I feel like it actually looks a little bit like longer and you know, they say all those things that happen to you in pregnancy of like your nails growing faster and your hair growing faster and like your skin glowing. I feel like I've gotten out of like the acne crazy hormonal stages and maybe I'm getting to a little bit of a nicer <laughs> place in my pregnancy when it comes to like how my hair is growing and my skin and all of those kind of things. Which is a nice symptom, it's a nice perk to have. The heartburn is still really, really bad though, unfortunately. And one other thing I have been 
doing since we've moved in and I have the exercise bike where like our movie room set up in our basement, I have been making it a point to ride at least 45 minutes if not an hour while we're watching a movie or a TV show just to get in some cardio and like doing some stretching along with it. And that has just made me feel so much better. Like I swear it's almost like some of my aches and pains I was having initially, it just helps dissipate it. So I'm so happy to be like working out. And since we moved, I, I had a really great prenatal yoga studio right by our old house. So I'm gonna have to look and see if there's any close by to where our new home is because I would love to start doing that especially as I get closer and into like the third trimester because that's just where I feel like doing that really helped prepare me for like labor. So I need to find a prenatal yoga studio close by. Belly button in or out. It is definitely moving out. I mean, it's not like fully out, but it's, I usually, if I'm not pregnant, like have a completely scooped in belly button and it is not what I'm working out these days. Wedding rings are still on. I really need to change my nail color. It's like Christmas red. <laughs> First world problems. Okay, here is the 21 week belly shot. So this is what it looks like close on. <clears throat> and I'm definitely have maternity jeans in full force. And you can probably see my like belly button is starting to pop. It's from the side. And other side. There you go. Happy or moody most of the time. Really happy. I just, again, like I feel like this is such an amazing moment in our lives, just reflecting on the new year. Everything that happened in 2016 from some awesome family vacations. Like we got to go to Disneyland. We went to Florida, to the beach. We went there. We also did a couple of days at Disney World with Landon. And then finding out we were pregnant a couple of months later, getting a new job, getting a new home. Like there was just some really big life changes that happened over the last year. And I'm so grateful for them. But I know that 2017, it's like the year of our girl. And that's just, it's gonna be so cool. Like I cannot wait for May to meet her and to see Landon when he meets his sister. Like I think that's gonna be so cool. And just seeing them be like instant best buds. And yeah, I'm really excited to experience what it's like to be the mom of a girl. So looking forward to a lot here. I hope that all of you have had a wonderful end to your 2016 and a great start to your 2017. Again, let me know in the comments if you have any video requests. I do a ton of mommy and lifestyle videos on my channel, but I'm always willing to try something new if you have a really good suggestion that I would be able to do for you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. So this is her new nursery chair that my husband and my father-in-law picked up today. I feel like I just need to find a really cute pillow or blanket for her. And then this is what I got for her little bows to clip onto.